An incredible sensation was made by Camilla Valiva, appearing on the ice in an unexpected image of the heroine of the popular TV series Wednesday, which is based on the Adams family. The new look suited her very well, two pigtails and glued bangs to the eyes. An interesting detail in the form of a cobweb on the back was added to the lush black dress. Camilla Valiva dressed up as Wednesday Adams and captivated with her gloomy beauty. Everyone liked the choreographically complex number, especially the figure skater's game, a strict face, black color, a completely new image. Now Camilla commanded the space around her and, admittedly, did not look like a victim of the horrors of the Olympics. Valiva said that she no longer needed the hood, there was no one to hide from. She turned her pain into strength. The acting skills of the athlete were not inferior to the appearance. Camilla got used to the role so much that she remained in it until she left the ice. During the performance, she coldly looked into the audience and never smiled, but at one moment she cleaned the ice crumbs from the skate and threw them at the audience. Valiva included several musical compositions in the program, each of which was great to beat. The most popular rental of the championship is not a competitive, but a demonstration number by Camilla Valiva based on the TV series Wednesday. If you type Camilla Valiva into the search box, Wednesday will be displayed immediately. A very accurate hit in terms of marketing, and on a global scale. And the brand you Camilla, who showed different styles of dance, including Vogue, and generally demonstrated the mastery of disguise, which we have not seen yet. This is much deeper than even the hooded surgeries that hit everyone at the beginning of the season. Interestingly, in three of the four events in the audience popularity rating, it was not the champions who won, but their main rivals, the remaining second. Valiva, as expected, overtook Akativa, but, most surprisingly, by only 5,000 views based on the results of two programs. In the show, the advantage is 10 times, but directly at the competitions, Akativa interested the audience no less than Valiva. Valiva, in addition to her excellent performance, also attracted attention by the fact that at the end of her free program she did not cover her face with a hood, as she had done before. According to the athlete, she no longer needs to hide. I enjoyed skating for the public. I made two sheepskin coats, as in 2021. I am certainly happy even to be here. I want to congratulate Sonia and Lisa, we are great fellows. Interesting season. We still show jumps, we can compete. Why didn't you wear a hood? I think it is no longer needed. No need to hide your face, which was a year ago, said Camilla. At the same time, memories of the scandal in Beijing still bring tears to the athlete, but now they are associated with other feelings. Of course, there are remnants of those emotions that were, because we are not even close here. No, these are not even tears of bitterness. Tears of joy, tears of gratitude, because now I am stronger than I was a year ago. This is probably the most important life experience, said the skater. Olympic champion in ice dancing Natalia Bestaminova suggested in the next box office and completely tear off the hood. Camilla showed her best performance. I think if she had skated the short cleanly, then, of course, she would have won. A short mistake is costly. About the fact that she did not put on a hood, she simply did not succeed in doing this. She is well done and a real star that she was able to beat this. Then I can develop the plot, they must attach the hood with Velcro and at the next start, tear it off and throw it away, quotes the words of Bestami Nova Ria Novosti. At the same time, all experts agreed that Akativa's victory in the Russian championship was natural, although many, such as coach Alexander Thelen, preferred Valiva. Still, I liked the way Camilla skated the free skate the most, because it's more mature, meaningful and grown up. However, this does not detract from the merits of Sofia, who made two quadruple jumps, went for a triple axle, light as a butterfly. The groundwork in the short program allowed her to win the Russian championship, with which I congratulate her, said Dylan. Honored coach of the USSR Tatyana Tarasova, in turn, drew attention to the big gap between Sofia after the first day of the competition. Amazing impression of the girls' skates. 
Akativa lost the free skate, but she was first in the short. This separation allowed her to remain the first. The victory is absolutely fair. Camilla's performance was 100% the best this season. I don't care if she puts on a hood at the end or not, the main thing is how she rolls the program itself. And Tuk Tamasheva is simply gorgeous. It is happiness to see her at the Russian Championship. Happiness. Added the expert. Tuk Tamasheva herself was also happy. She climbed the podium of the Russian Championship for the first time since the 2014 season, 15. And according to the athlete, this medal is comparable to the second place at the World Championships, bronze is probably more meaningful to me than even the silver that I won in 2015. A long time ago I won the Russian Championship, I don't even remember what emotions I experienced there, it was very unexpected, and I didn't understand that it was really a very difficult start, I was young then. And now, at such a conscious age with such high competition, this is very significant. I can't say that this is in the first place, but this is an important medal for me. It means, everything is not in vain, I do not work in vain and do not ride in vain. This is quite a big motivation, said the athlete. Camilla and Sofia, in turn, admired the student of Alexei Mishin. So, Voliva said that she had great respect for the 26-year-old figure skater. What does Lisa mean to me? The fact that we must also strive to go to 15 Russian championships. I don't want to say at that age. But I am 16 years old, and she has almost the same number of national championships, said Camilla. Akativa also expressed the hope that she would be able to perform no less than Lisa. I respect Tuk Tamasheva very much. I was born in 2007, and she already competed at the Russian championship. This thought shocks me. I want to ride as much, admitted Sofia. Sofia Akativa was ahead of Camilla Voliva by only 2.42 points in the sum of two programs. At the same time, the 15-year-old figure skater could not cope with the triple axel. I was very scared, to be honest, but I understood, I need to get together and invest even more in the rest of the jumps. I did not expect an error on it because the element went well for me. But I'm glad that I didn't lose my head and finished the program well," the athlete admitted in a comment to Channel 1. According to Akativa, she had never experienced such vivid emotions before, since this Russian championship was the first for her. To be honest, I'm shocked. I definitely won't lose my head, since this is the very beginning. It is a great honor for me to compete with such outstanding athletes and to be here in general. Before the tournament, I did not expect such a result. I just wanted to skate cleanly and let the judges decide. Modesty does not allow you to reveal full emotions? Until I fully realized it. Very happy, added Sophia.